Welcome to Recruiters with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to perform absurd um, inserts and updates by using copy activity in the IO data factory. Uh, we are going to learn how to read the data from CSV file and write the data to the Azure SQL table. And uh, also, we are going to discuss some uh, scenarios where uh, if you have uh, duplicate data coming in the source, uh, what's going to be the scenario in that case? Uh, will it deal with the duplicate data or not? Uh, now, let me take you to the Azure Data Factory here, uh, release notes. So, so I was just uh, clicking here a few days back, uh, and uh, then I read this uh, feature is uh, released. Uh, that's where I thought uh, I should make uh, a video. So Azure Data Factory copy activity support up certain below connectors. Uh, so it does support in uh, SQL Server, Azure SQL, database, Azure SQL Manage Instance, and Azure Synapse Analytics. If you want to read more about it, you can click right there and it will take you there. Now, let's close this part and work on our some source and uh, some destinations item. So here is our source and uh, this is my blob storage. It is in the input container and I have a file called the Total Sale Asia. So now let's click right there, edit, and uh, we can see right there uh, we have uh, three records. Um, we have ID, salesperson first name, salesperson last name, and then um, some other columns. Uh, and then we have data for IDs 5, 6, and 7. Uh, all uh, the records are belonging to Asia region. Um, you can preview. It looks better in this way. So that's fine. What I have done uh, on the other side in the Azure uh, SQL database, uh, I'm creating this table called the Total Sale Asia. If you see this, this is the same columns and I have selected some data type according to the need. Now, if I can simply go ahead and select the data from this table, I will have no data as of now. So select start from this table. It's going to return me zero records, no records at all. That's good. Let's go ahead and start working on this pipeline where we'll read the total sale Asia file and perform some absurd. As you see that there are three records and when you're going to work first time, it's going to just insert those records. Let's go right there in the pipeline, new pipeline. And here what we'll use a copy activity. So copy data and now we are going to go to source and we are going to go to new and Azure Blob Storage. Here I will select my file type that's a common limited file and linked service. I can create new linked service and I will be providing my subscription here and I will be providing my story name. I will test this connection and then uh, create. Now I have to navigate to the container and uh, I know that is input container and the file name is the total sale Asia file. So hit uh, uh, just select that file. Yes, uh, first row has header. Yes, so read the import schema, you know, that's fine. And now we should be all good here. On the sync side, uh, that's where we are going to play and uh, uh, see how the ups are work. Uh, now, let's uh, go and uh, click on new. And here we will say Azure SQL. So that's the database we would like to use. Um, here I'm going to go ahead and create a new linked service. Um, so this is going to point to my Azure SQL database. Um, I'm going to select the subscription and I'm going to select uh, my server name and my data name, database name tech versus ITDB. SQL authentication is just fine and I'm going to provide my favorite username TB user and password. And now what we will do, we will test our connection. Successful and we will create a linked service. And now what we are going to do here, we are going to select the table in which we would like to perform absurd. Here is total sale Asia. And uh, yeah, that's what it is. After selecting the table, leave this import schema as it is and hit OK. Now we should be all good here and that's where the right behavior come. That's where the absurd can be performed. You can simply insert. So every time you run this pipeline, it's going to insert the data. Or you want to perform absurd. That means insert new records and update old records according to some condition. So let's take a look here. If you perform absurd, first of all, it's going to use your tempdb. Let's click right there and you see some information. If you write large amount of data into SQL database, uncheck this and specify a schema name under which data factory will create a staging table to load upstream data and auto cleanup upon completion. Make sure the user has created a table permission in the database and alter permission on the schema. 
if not specified a global temp table is used as a staging um, so if you leave this one as it is what it's going to do is going to create a global temp table in the temp db and run that now if you will uncheck box then you have to provide the user schema so you can provide the db or schema or whatever the schema on which your azure data factory or the user has permission now here i'm going to just leave that to the user temp db now if you notice there uh, the data will be read and put into the temp db and then up, up, updates and inserts will be performed so simply if uh, before you never had the absurd uh, you what you were doing uh, you were writing the data to some staging table and running a store procedure to do that um, now it's pretty much the same thing it's going to write your data to some temp table or you know uh, staging table and perform the absurd so it's uh, make your life easy you don't have to maintain store procedures to, to perform absurd now here is the key column zone so if you click on the right here choose which column is used to determine if a row from the source matches a row from the sink so in this case what i'm going to do i'm going to add three columns one id and then i'm going to create another column it called salesperson first name and then another one so if these three columns are coming i'm going to consider them compare these column with the table data if they any of them is not matching it means it's my new record if all of these three are matching then you can perform ups uh, update you know for existing records so now we are all good here uh, bulk and the table lock if you want to do yes you can do that so you have to read through uh, use this improve copy performance during bulk insert operation on the table uh, with no index from multiple clients so uh, if you are loading a lot of data and uh, you want to you know enable you can do it or leave this uh, disable so test it out what works best for you uh, here i'm not uh, creating a table uh, auto create table and all that that's and i'm not running any other scripts so, so you can run pre and post scripts and all that you can also have the batch size and all i'm going to leave everything as it is uh, for now my data set is very small and uh, we are good uh, in this scenario let's uh, execute uh, our pipeline and it should read uh, three records and write to the table now let's uh, take a look it read three rows and it has written uh, three rows um, and uh, that was pretty fast now we go back to the azure table and uh, here we are going to take a look um, you see right there these are records that has been uh, written uh, now that's great uh, let's go back and make some changes uh, to our data now first of all what i'm going to do i'm going to go to total asia and edit here and now i will uh, make a copy of this record and just uh, paste it there so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's see if i will uh, make uh, id 8 and instead of chirag i will say gabbar singh or uh, you know whatever the name you want to give well this is the name it came in my mind right now and uh, it's in europe um, so this uh, guy he lives in europe and uh, that's what uh, the new record is um, you can see that uh, as uh, any of these values uh, uh, ID, first name, last name, or anything changes that will be considered as a new record. Uh, if all these three values are matching in our database, uh, then it is the old record. Uh, now, also, see if uh, this is existing record, we are not making changes to ID, first name, or last name, but uh, we are going to just change uh, the uh, region uh, to North America for uh, this uh, ID uh, for Najaf Ali. So, this, is, uh, this should be updated. So, this value should be updated as uh, this is absurd. Uh, and uh, the call these values are staying the same um, now this way will, will be considered as a new record uh, now let's go ahead and take a look and uh, what happened let's close this and now we will uh, rerun our pipeline okay our pipeline has been completed successfully it uh, says that uh, you have read four rows uh, and has written a uh, four rows uh, honestly it will be greater uh, if it will tell me hey i have read four rows uh, there was a one row new updated uh, you know and uh, there's one row uh, no change and all that but it doesn't tell you a whole lot about that that's okay so we can go and compare the data by ourselves uh, remember that we had made change uh, for the region uh, for uh, first uh, id here so that's what we just going to do and there would be another record for gabber singh um, let's execute this uh, table and you can see that uh, for id 5 najaf ali the region has been updated um, and uh, for the gabber singh we have uh, a new record uh, so that's a great it works uh, uh, just fine as we expected uh, now there are some scenarios uh, i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna do one uh, thing here so right here say uh, delete from 
this table where ID is not equal to eight. So I'm leaving one record and then I'm going deleting everything else. So see right there, I have deleted everything, but I left Gabber Singh there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my source and here I will go back to my source here. And now I'm going to go make some changes. So as you know that uh, these are the five, uh, few records we have deleted, uh, I'm going to make a copy of these records. Uh. So now we have duplicate data. So what I was expecting, uh, like, okay, it is should uh, insert only non-duplicated data. Because uh, let's say if it insert the first time, uh, you know, it is going to check like, oh, this record does exist uh, and it should take care of that. Uh, but that that's not the case. Um. So if you see there, I have made uh, the duplicate records uh, for this one and for above okay so now let's run our pipeline again so execute and we already know that gabarsin does exist so it should not insert that record but uh, i was expecting it should also take care of the duplicate but it does not uh, so it inserts a duplicate data so you see right there it's telling you total rows uh, seven total rows written so in other ways you can think uh, this is uh, the rows read from the source and written to the staging table so let's go back here and now we execute our uh, select query and you see that uh, there is a duplicate data so it took all these records uh, right there and then uh, it uh, also took these records uh, they were duplicate records for the above and uh, has inserted uh, now, if I will go ahead and insert, uh, rerun the pipeline again, uh, now it's not going to insert any record uh, because uh, now there are values that uh, they are already existing. Uh, so these values, if you see right there, they are already existing. So it's not going to um, insert uh, these records. Uh, and if we will make some update to maybe, let's say we will make an update to number six uh, and uh, change it, it's gonna, it will update on both uh, records. Um, so let's test that as well. So if you see right there, uh, it says seven and seven, and uh, that's it. And if I go back and run my select query, I have the same records uh, because the already records has been inserted. So what I'm trying to say here, if your file has duplicate records uh, and those records were never in the table, uh, they will be inserted uh, as duplicate records. Um. So it's not going to clear that out. We will make another video how to even handle duplicate records by copy activity and uh, when you are writing data to the Azure SQL DB. I have some. Uh, I was playing with some scenarios. A copy activity directly does not allow you, but uh, I was trying to handle all the da database side by creating uni unique uh, index and all that. So I will create a video for that. Now let's go back uh, one more time and uh, make a change in one of the record. So right there. We go here and edit, and uh, we can see right there, there are duplicate records for Sukhjit Singh, and he's uh, belong to Asia, India. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say he's uh, not living in India anymore, and he came to United States. Um, now, what happened, uh, I also have this record uh, there that did not change uh, at all. So we are gonna go ahead, and uh, what's gonna happen uh, for Sukhjit, Sukhjit Singh, uh, it should be updating two records in the table. Uh, it is one is India, both were India actually country. Now it should be updated to the USA. Let's uh, execute our pipeline one more time. And here we will see the record. So see right there for Sukhjit Singh, we were seeing uh, the country India. And uh, then uh, here as well, uh, that's a duplicate record. So it should be updated to USA. Let's execute select query. And we can see that uh, the value has been updated uh, because uh, our update is depending upon these three values and it found duplicate values so it uh, updated in multiple places thank you very much for watching what i'm going to do i'm going to put to this uh, uh, table definition and some uh, file data definition in the description so you can copy and paste and test uh, your scenario i really appreciate uh, if you like uh, my videos and uh, go ahead and subscribe i will see you guys in the next video